you got to make sure you're plugging it in the right one and programming it to the right pin, right? Okay. Makes sense, right? Sure. This thing plugs into the computer, and then we have this stuff here, right? We have all this programming stuff, and actually, they built it off of pro uh, processing, so it's very familiar. Okay. It's all like similar stuff. And then it's really cool if you go up to like file, and you go to uh, sketchbook, no, examples, they got tons of really cool examples that you can go on to, it'll have the uh, programming just you just load it in, and then you gotta like do some wiring where online it has all the uh, examples of how to wire it and yada yada. And that's that. Um, so let's start with, uh, let's just get something to work, right? What do you wanna do first? Am I gonna light the work? One Joe again. He seems so <laughs> excited about this. Okay. Blink. Do blink. That was really easy. So here's what we're gonna do. Is the blink example code has the LED built in first. So just get it blinking oh. on the LED that it has. Sure. First. Sure. Okay, that's a that's a different one that I have that I have up. Okay, so first computer things, right? We're gonna go to Also I have the, the pin up here. Awesome. That's important. God yeah, so damn it. you don't want that pulled up. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> it's not as bad as it's it looks. Not as bad as it looks. No. So I find that it takes at a minimum three windows to have open. Okay. One is that one. the Arduino IDE. Uh, Another one okay. is the processing or is the pinout for the particular board you're working with. And the third one that you want is the tutorials page for that project for that example. So if you go it does talk you through some of that. Google yeah. Arduino tutorials. And there's also a app. Yeah, and there's an app on your phone, which is the one that I usually use. Uh, but on here, there's built-in examples. And these have, uh, so if we go into Blink, there's kind of code and schematics and pretty decent comments for what the heck it's doing. But the code for Arduino is basically the same as it is for processing. There's a setup method. And then there's a looping method. Okay. And in processing, the looping method's called draw, and in this one, it's called loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Totally confusing, right? <laughs> sure. And after you've um, after you've uploaded the code to an Arduino, you can disconnect it from the computer, and any time you connect it to power, it'll run through the setup thing once, and then it'll loop, start looping. Okay. And it'll just keep looping. So it's storing the code that you write here in some way? Mm -hmm. so yep. It has a little tiny brain in it. On that little square box. Uh, it has. Processor, isn't it? Yeah, it, that's where it holds the code. It has just a teensy bit of memory, a teensy bit of RAM, and a teensy little processor in it. Yeah, uh, and I have no idea where those are stored particularly on that. I can point at the one that's an LED, but only because it <laughs> lights up every time I plug it in. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, so, so if you plug it in, let me give you control. Oh, good. And the helm. And that leads on the other side. Of course, it's under the Yeah. Oh, you got it in the first chance. time. Wow. wow. Impressive. Oh God. Okay. Hey, look! I got it to light up. Do I win now? Yeah, you know which one's the LED, so those ones are LEDs. Okay. What does LED stand for? Okay, so now it's plugged in. And we gotta do some like little computer things. Okay. What we do is go up here to uh, one, we gotta make sure this port is highlighted, COM3. Don't ask why. And you just gotta make sure that's a thing. It, okay. it needs to be the right port. If you try to send Arduino code to your mouse, <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. Well, that's better. Although, uh, I the, it and might the, do. the good news is it won't. I have not thus far seen it overwrite anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Creates a and, and then mouse. we have all these boards available, right? And right. so then we got to pick the one that we have. We have this little nano, nano. one. I already got it all set up, so cool. it's perfect. All you got to do is verify the code, and make sure it works. We uploaded this from a freaking website, so like it works. Okay. And yeah. then there's this little arrow here that's just like shove that data on there. So set up pin mode LED bulletin output. What the hell is that? That's telling it where on the 
the Arduino. Yeah, the pin modes are each one of these pins. So if we wanted to change it, we'd say like A9 if we wanted it to be analog 9, or like D7 if we wanted it to be like digital 7. Basically, that's initializing the idea that you might change something about that pin. Okay. And then the mode is, are you going to get information from that pin, or are you going to put information onto that pin? Okay. So they're so setting the built-in LED, output. which is the yeah. built-in LED, right. to write mode. Okay. So we're going to write on that. That's a little bit like the kind of save strings, load strings kind right. of idea. Right. And then in the loop, we write digitally to the LED to turn it on. And then we wait a little while, and then we tell the LED to turn off. And then we wait a little while, and then mm -hmm. we do that again. Makes sense, okay. Okay, so if you push the the second button over there, this is one? upload. Upload. And then, you get thing down here. and then you'll get a little progress bar that sometimes takes eternity. Yeah, and, okay. some, and if it gets stuck, like at the end, that's usually port we've discovered. Uh, yeah, if it seems to hang, that's usually because it's not getting a read or a write confirmation from your mouse. Because okay. your mouse has okay. been taking all this data and it's been like, <laughs> 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 and it just doesn't stop laughing at you. <laughs> Fair enough. And normally you can right. see that there's some kind of a like a writing thing going on. Right. And it seems working. very easy. Oh, and, and this one is now just blinking. Okay. Right. And so it's blinking in the one second range because we've set the delay to a thousand milliseconds. I see. Mm -hmm. Right. And so if we want to make it blink faster. We would delay by 500, delay by 500. And then the confusing thing about using the LED built in is that it will sometimes kind of blink a little bit when you're writing, mm -hmm. or it'll continue. So that was the writing one. And yeah, now. Now it's going to be faster. Cool. Mm -hmm. So on these guys, it looks like the writing, there's a read and a write here. Mm -hmm. And I was wrong that it's not blinking the same one. It depends on the Arduino board you've got. It just seems really easy to short this thing. Oh, it's super easy. But they're really cheap. So oh, if, you let okay. the elect if you let the magic electric smoke out of it, don't worry about it. And okay. also, isn't that, okay, uh, is that um, input only allowing 5 volt? Yeah, also it's only 5 volt. So, sure, you can it's you can different. short it pretty easily, but we haven't managed to fry one yet, and that's kind of impressive considering <laughs> what, the level of uh, direction that we had going the other day. <laughs> I just gave these guys a whole box of components and said, "Download a tutorial. Like, go look at one of the tutorials. I don't care which one. Build it and go." Mm -hmm. There were LEDs that were. <laughs> Grounded on both sides or powered on both <laughs> sides. And, you know, I didn't see anything fry. You guys let a little bit of smoke out of something, but it didn't seem to break anything, so I don't know what it was. I'd be super surprised if you guys fried a button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, at any rate, the so basics are schematic. Whatever the hell this pin thing out, is. Yeah. Pin out. So the pin out tells you. Uh, so make sure pin out now. Yeah. Yeah. So for instance, when we want to make an external LED blink, right, right, we need to set the right pin to output mode. And you see okay. on these, it's bigger on here, but on those, there will be little D2, D3. Yeah, D4, and the, the confusing thing is that the labels on here don't correspond to the labels in the software. Right. So you need this pinout sheet to translate from the labels on the Arduino to the labels in the software. We okay. see this, software sees this. Gotcha. Yeah. So. And then you just want to make sure that schematic is oriented the right way. So when you're looking at that schematic, that black box with the six round holes in it yeah, is yeah. these header pins. Gotcha. So this thing. Right. Or get a magnifying glass so you can read what's written on there. And it doesn't matter if I have no idea what a serial analog nope. physical port pin is. Nope. Not so that. far. Okay, cool. We might figure out that some of that matters later, but for right now, F it. Okay, cool. Like just go with the pins they suggest on here. So if they say to use an analog pin on the tutorial, use an analog pin 
on the Arduino. If they say to use a digital pin, use a digital pin. Gotcha. And we'll talk about what the difference is later. And what is this thing? So that thing's a breadboard that's bigger than this breadboard. Mm -hmm. What's a breadboard? So a breadboard is a allows circuit. you to make connections. <laughs> so hand me one of those LEDs. So if I wanted to make, say, the this LED blink, uh -huh. I would need to somehow connect one side to power and one side to ground, basically. Uh -huh. So I might look on my schematic and find out that pin 9 is labeled digital 9 on the board. Okay. So then I might look at the board and be like, okay, D9. So far, so good. Right, so basically I'm playing Battleship here. Okay. <laughs> and the, the way the breadboard works is in the horizontal rows here. Yeah. All, everything on one side is connected. Okay. So if I want to connect, really I want to connect this wire to that chunk of the LED. So I'm just putting them both in the same row. Okay. And then I'm going to put this in the other <laughs> row. And then I'm going to shove that into ground, one of the grounds. Right. Make sure to protect your eye. <laughs> and Story uploaded the code while Wait. I wasn't looking. <laughs> and he also, I also used a white LED, which you should have seen. I'm gonna <laughs> throw all the white LEDs away. So if you want one, to uh, go with, it should sure be noted have. that if you take your LED and you rotate it 180 degrees and you plug it in, it, work. it does not do any damn thing. Positive or negative. And the, the reason are always the reason is that they are light emitting oh god. <laughs> no, god you. They're yeah, light emitting diodes, not light emitting thingamahoos. <laughs> and a diode is a one way gate for pixies. I, I, I thought we all agreed that they were lasers. It's a it's a pixie turnstile. <laughs> okay. Right? right. And yeah. so if the pixies are all stacked up against a turnstile moving the wrong direction, it doesn't work. Right. There's a blue. One. You're welcome, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. And normally we would do that with a resistor, but we didn't. Right. And normally it would be a good idea to do that with a resistor, but yeah. as it turns out, we have not fried any LEDs. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and we did find that when we were using resistors, uh, we were we basically learned that we're idiots. Oh, good. <laughs> wow, that's also pretty bright. That's also pretty bright. Uh, why are we idiots? We found out that we collectively oh, are Oh, I'm idiots. sure that I'm included in this group. Uh, so what we found out was that we uh, were having trouble figuring out which was the appropriate resistor and putting uh, in resistors that were way too big uh, and thus ending up with no light no ohms, and being right. very confused. So <laughs> you know, divide five by one million ohms. Right. And you got, you got your amps. Okay. I know what some of those words mean. Okay. Yeah, it's okay if you don't. If you want to know what those words mean, you could go look up Ohm's yeah. law, yeah. or you could just say whatever. Which or is you just accept the fact that they're pixels. Yes. Sure. Like you hear the words five divided by a million. Yeah. 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 That, and be like, okay. that's small. There's not a lot of pixies in that one. Right. There's like <laughs> partial pixies. Yeah. 